Woof. All right. That's a tough one. Let's do this. Huh. Hey, Adri. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Christine. Hi, Cynthia. What's up, Daniel Rene? Hi, Ethan. Hey, hello, hey, Pastor Joy. Hey, Marjor. Hi, Maya. Hello, Mo. Hi. Hey there, Pat. Hi, Gucci. Oh, hi. Hey, Patricia. <laughs> I have a hard time talking about myself, Rochi. <laughs> I'm so self-aware of like being in front of a camera, right? And in front of a mirror, right? I'm like a freaking sandwich here. Yeah, this is super awkward. Because I don't like talking to myself. I feel weird telling myself I'm pretty. Oof, okay. This is not so easy to do. Rochi. 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 This is different. over all the things I really find attractive about you and the few things that we, I don't know. Mm. You're the man. Well, you're not ugly. I are amazing, dude. I like uh, that I'm a little smart, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I like your ears, your good ears. Big brown eyes this morning, you look happy. You look good for your age. Look at it, it's like so curly and it's like, it's so fun. <laughs> Today is gonna be a good day. Nice. Nice. Mm. You're kind of hot. Your feet. I love your hair. Your big forehead, that means that you're super intelligent. Hi, I have little people in here. I love your legs. Your legs are model legs. Hey. I like your face. You look like your mom. Eres femenina, eso me gusta, me gusta que eres femenina. I also have a little bit of cellulite. I love my cellulite, I love my legs, I love my body, I love my people. I love everything about myself. Working out might be in your agenda this week because you are a little bit flabby. I don't have any kind of preconceived notion of what beauty is. So when I see myself from head to toe, I actually see a very beautiful woman. I love your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing out loud. That's what makes you feel good about yourself. LOL. I think you're a handsome guy. Nice lips. Kind of like Batman type of lips. And I love my belly because it's the house for my son. You have a lovely long neck. Very elegant. I like myself because I'm a smart guy. I like your shape, right? And even though they got the little curve thing, you have like the jacket, so it's okay. <laughs> Looks like strong arms. And I know you, you didn't do exercises. Yeah, man, I'm in my mid 40s, so we, we're rocking that back fat. You look hot, you know? I like. Uh, Good boobs, you have good boobs. <laughs> you are pretty good looking for not ever having plastic surgery. Because it's all about the attitude. When I was younger, I hated myself. I considered myself ugly. I thought I would never be able to have a boyfriend. I thought I was ugly because my, my, my dad used to tell me that I was ugly. When I was a little girl, I have a, a bunch of guys, friends, and they used to tell me that I was ugly, but when I grew up, I will be beautiful. They knew. <laughs> it's not only about how big is my hair or my lashes, but it's also about how good I feel inside of me. How proud I am of myself and every single thing that I have in my life and the woman I am today.
have anxiety and I have depression and I have body issues. So some days I wake up and I think I look amazing. And then other days I look like I'm fat and I can't wear anything and I don't want to leave my house. I go through everything that's wrong with me, but then I remind myself of everything that's good and that I'm going to make it through the day. Most of the time I can get out of my house and feel really good. You have beauty that shines from the inside out. You have learned to give yourself the love that you need to push through any day and be okay with the person you see in the mirror and wake up to every day and go to sleep to every night. You kick ass. Looking at myself in the mirror now, it kind of feels good. I never used to do that. I used to walk by the mirror. I didn't even know I existed. I was a sick kid. Had epilepsy. Remember when you were a kid? They used to call you Natalie Dog and bark when you walked by. I was just teased a lot and bullied in school. Remember that? That was rough. When you hear enough times that you're not attractive and you're ugly and the kids walk by and they bark at you, it's, it hurts. I've just learned that through all of the ups and the downs in my life that I've always had a choice. And for me, my health is a choice. I really believed that I was like this sick, frail, ugly kid. And you know what? As I grew up, I realized I'm not. I'm none of those things. Those were, those were just a bunch of lies. And once I moved past the lies, I was like, screw that. I know who I am now. And just in awe of you. And I'm sorry that I wasn't always like that. I just love you <laughs> so much. It took us a long time to get here, but I love you. I really do. I can say that it has taken me a long time to be able to say that I am not fully comfortable yet in my own skin, but I am honored to be able to have the chance to get there. And I believe that Daniel has given a lot of power to his own mind and whatever he believes is reality. When, even though I might know it's not reality, I see that it's not reality, he still wants to believe it. And that gets me into big trouble sometimes. It is a lifelong difficulty for me to be able to love myself and say that I love myself. Daniel, I love you. I'm kind of trying not to cry. I like that person. As uncomfortable as it may sound. <laughs> no, I can't complain about anything. Except that my brother's a butthead. I like you. I love you. I. 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 Dude, I, I'm beginning to. No, I, I. 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 I have a crush on you. I think we should all let our freak flags fly. Crush on myself! What? I have a crush on myself! I can't hear you!